Hi, this is Jealous Mingambam and welcome to ISTV English News. First, the headlines. Nine school children hospitalized after fainting inside the school van. And a youth of 25 years came out opening to sell his kidney due to extreme hardship. Now the news in detail. Nine young students fainted inside the school van today. The incident occurred at around 9.30 a.m. in the morning. All the students are from Northeastern English School, Kewa Bazaar at Tinsit Road. The students who had lost their consciousness inside the school van belong to age group of 5 to 12. The registration number of the school van is MN182638 and was driven by T.H. Romes, age 20, son of Thambo from Sanjebam Sangzabi Lekai. The school van is owned by Bishwajit from Uripok. All nine students were admitted at Janams for treatment. The students are identified as Janat Singh, age 9, Laishram Mahesh, age 7, Telem Priyanka, age 7, I Rezia, age 8, Sapam Baris, age 12, Sapam Rabindra, age 8, Neeraj, age 7, Jasmina, age 7, Leshantham Rabina, age 5, Susma Devi, age 5, Y Anandakumar, age 7, and L Toy, age 6. According to the van driver Romes, 18 students were inside the van today. Due to the rain, he had shut up all the windows of the van. He said, the reason behind may be due to lack of air the students fainted inside the van. He said he found the school kids unconscious when he had reached the school. Among 18 students inside the van, 9 were found in unconscious state. He said the 9 school kids were rushed immediately to Jennings. In connection with today's unfortunate incident of nine school students fainted inside a school van and admitted in a hospital, Child Welfare Committee and Manipur Alliance for Child Rights will take up lawful actions against the school authority and van services, said Kesham Pradip Kumar, Chairman Child Welfare Committee. Speaking with ISTV News, Pradip Kumar said that according to Motor Vehicle Act, the van service drivers should know the maximum number of students they can carry in the van and they should follow as per the rules and regulations of the Act. He further said that a thorough investigation will be carried out and lawful actions will be taken up against the school authority and the van service operators. <laughs> Driver some of the owner the labor association Luna Luna concerned school Laduna Lawi Gedavani Akoi Hojit Lady Bamo Masita Angang Si Koi Yen Cha Yen Hapa Dona Masing Yang Hapaga Yang Mati Kushap Pang Yavi Monga Nanga Suhon Bell Nuai Libra Wari Bra Hyper Singba Power Yang in a Puba Se Masi Motor Vehicle Yaki Matum in a period of capacity to give him a Puba Yaro Davani. Luna Luna School Authority Namasi Ushinadana Levi Aroy, Masi Matana School Authority, Amadi, Ben Service Story, Puna Maki, Titan, and Hoy Tamjaga Luna, Child Welfare Committee, in part, Iski Maki, the Giaqua, Chap Java, Legal Action, Low Nova, Hoy Tamjan, Togoni Luna Luna, Manipur Alliance for Child, Raiski Maki, the issue, Hoy Masi Matung, the Tokanava, Masi Inquiry Torga, Chap Java, Kuapamama. Standard no mama chana nava yu akum koi shoyde na miyam da lakta shoyde kani. It may be recalled that all Manipur Students Guardian Association has already conveyed to media persons to appeal the concerned authority to draw their attention over the inconveniences faced by students due to overloading of students in school van. Despite ban on selling kidney, unemployment problems and sufferings in the family compelled a person to come out openly for selling his kidney. A bachelor of 25 years hailing from a valley district of Manipur who is currently studying BA has come out to sell kidney in order to meet his extreme requirement and necessity. According to him, he braved social and other fears due to extreme necessity and to help his family. Speaking to ISTV News, he said he could not get a government job as he don't have money and influence to get a suitable job. He lived with his mother only for the last 20 years after his father got married to another woman. 
His father failed to look after them and they took bank loan after keeping their pata on mortgage. However, his father failed to pay back the money taken from the bank. The bank officials have informed them to acquire the land and paddy fill if they are not able to pay back the bank loan. This has compelled him to sell his own kidney, he disclosed. It may be worth to mention that growing unemployment problems, many are facing untold problems in the state. Being na kui ki hana do la buda kanu tau ki ba thajing ki ba kui do lam pata kai ki jinge mogas tau ne na kana hai pressure lai do na hau jiche kanu di la do na kui ki hingo di la do yum phom phau ba lai chilak tre do ki sa phau do yum ai ni suru ba cheng phong phau ka do na thong sa ba. One day free diabetic detection camp come interaction program was held at Chenims today. The camp was jointly organized by Chenims National Alliance for Elder People's Livelihood Research Advocacy and Chronic Diseases of India and Galaxo Pharmaceutical Limited. The camp which was held at the lecture hall of the institute was attended by Alliance Chairperson R.K. Noyinsena, Genem's Medical Superintendent Professor Y. Gopi Mohan and other dignitaries were also present on the occasion. Many took the advantage of diabetic detection on the camp. Speaking on the occasion, Dr. Santi Balas said the Alliance has been taking up many activities for the elder people. She further said that diabetics became a goal and national problem. She attributed it to the change in the lifestyles of the present generations. She further added that stress and depression are the effects of diabetic in human being. Awareness program on implementation of inner line permit in Manipur was held at Brighter School located at New Lumberland. The awareness program was organized by student wing of Joint Committee on Inner Line Permit. Those who spoke on the occasion said that after lifting inner line permit system in the state, influx from other states have increased manifold and created a great problem to the indigenous people of the state in the fields of work and business. The numbers of outsiders are increasing day by day at an alarming rate. The fate of Tripuris in Tripura might happen to us if we fail to check it in time. Tripuris in Tripura are extinct in their own lands. They also stress the need to implement inner line permit in the street and students need to know about it. <laughs> A dead body of a man of about 50 years of age was found today in a pond located at Kwaketil Taunazam Likai, opposite Tidim Ground under Lamfell Police Station. The dead body has not been identified yet. According to the news available by ISTV News, the dead body was found by the locals of the area in the early morning. Police have taken the corpse to Rim's mark for identification. Now the headlines once again. Nine school children hospitalized after fainting inside a school van. And a youth of 25 years came out openly to sell his kidney due to extreme hardship. Thanks for joining us. Goodbye.